Welcome to the Pharmacy Residency Podcast, a member of the Pharmacy Podcast Network. Again, if you want help from your letter of intent, you can go to residencyhelp.com to get more information about working with me. Uh, we are on paragraph two. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken this uh, model letter of intent and I will make a new uh, letter. I'm going to take the second paragraph here, copy and paste. And we're going to do a critique, and I will edit it uh, as I did with paragraph one in the last episode. Okay, so first thing, I had removed this sentence uh, because it belonged in the first uh, part to kind of get rid of that. And now we're going to talk about the second paragraph. So a lot of people like to put their goals and what they've done uh, overall, and that's fine. I still think that you could just remove the whole paragraph altogether. Um, but I'm going to just... Uh, kind of continue with this paragraph at a time work. Okay, So as you can see from my CV, my experience includes solid background in hospital pharmacy at UC Medical Center. Uh, so you don't need that. You can just put, I built a solid background in hospital pharmacy at UC Medical Center. And then along with a range of clinical experience, and you can just get rid of that and just put in community, ambulatory, and acute care settings throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. And this matters if you're applying to a San Francisco Bay Area school or a residency site. If not, it may not matter, but I'll just leave it in there. So I built a solid background in hospital pharmacy at UC Medical Center and community ambulatory and acute care settings throughout the San Francisco Bay Area. Um, from these experiences, I gained an understanding. So you don't need from these experiences, they get that. Uh, I gained an understanding of best clinical practices, how to provide for a diverse patient population, and work effectively on interdisciplinary teams. Okay. As a resident, you don't need to say PGY1, they know that. Uh, my primary goal is to advance clinical knowledge and critical thinking skills in different clinical scare settings to provide optimal patient care. This is one of those sentences I see over and over again that is just this kind of broad generalization that you are going to change the pharmacy world and it's quite irrelevant so they get it you're going to become a resident you're going to suffer <laughs> through 60 hour weeks uh, they get that you're going to uh, want to advance patient care you've already said what you need to say okay uh, at the university of oregon the variety and rotation opportunities along with a strong faculty mentorship offers a balance of support and autonomy i seek and again, this is too focused on the person rather than what they're going to do. I would just say at the University of Oregon with I wish to contribute through rotation opportunities and gain faculty mentorship okay that's it you're just trying to say I'm a team player I'm going to help and I want to come to help and to work uh, and I'm going to do that through rotations and getting help to the fa faculty okay. uh, after PGY1 training my plan is to pursue specialized training okay. so the thing is, is that you're saying the same thing twice because then you go on to say my current areas of interest include critical care and infectious diseases as I enjoy the challenging nature of work and part of a multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary team focused on tackling complex cases. So again, we've got these long, long sentences that are just unnecessary. Okay? So you can just say at the University of Oregon, and this needs to be lowercase, uh, I wish to contribute through rotation opportunities and gain faculty mentorship. After PGY1 training, my plan is to pursue specialized training. You can just, if you really want to use it, uh, in critical care and infectious disease. You don't need to say why. Okay. Okay, they get why. And that's it. So I've taken what was, let's see, uh, we did get rid of that first sentence so we're taking 161 words and we are turning those 161 words into 81 so divided it in half said the exact same thing 
Okay, let me. Okay, so I just made one last tweak where I put after PG after PGY1 training. My plan is to continue in critical care and infectious disease specialized training, just uh, turning it around a little bit to make it just a little bit more clear.